Hey, welcome to Sean's Kitchen. For today's recipe, I'm going to take 500 grams of beef, to which I'm going to add 3 tablespoons of curd. Along with that, here I'm going to add half a teaspoon of red chili powder, half a teaspoon of turmeric powder, one teaspoon of salt, and one tablespoon of lime juice. Now mix all of this really well. And when I'm done mixing all of this, I'm then going to keep this aside for marination for one hour. Once the beef is marinated, I'm then going to take a fresh cooker and add the beef to it. And along with that, here I'm going to add one tablespoon of oil, half a cup of water, and after that, I'm then going to mix all of this really well. Once I'm done mixing all of this really well, I'm then going to cover the lid of the fresh cooker and let it cook five to six whistles on medium flame. While the beef cooks in the fresh cooker, here I'm going to take a pan and add six dry red chilies to it. And along with that, here I'm going to add four cloves, one teaspoon of peppercorn, one teaspoon of maple seeds, one teaspoon of cumin seeds, two teaspoons of coriander seeds, and lastly, three green cardamoms. I'm going to now dry roast all of these ingredients on low flame for two to three minutes. After roasting this for three minutes, you can now switch off the flame and keep this aside to cool down. After that, here you can then take a grinder jar. And once the spices have cooled down, you can then add the spices to the grinder jar. And along with the spices, here you can add one tablespoon of tamarind paste, four cloves of garlic, and two tablespoons of water. After that, here you can then grind this into a paste. Once you're done grinding this, you can then keep this aside. After cooking the beef in the pressure for five whistles, you can then now remove the lid. You can give this a good stir. And once you're done doing that, you can then drain the water and keep the beef aside. After that, here you can then take a pan and add 3 tablespoons of ghee. Once you're done adding the ghee, here you can then add 2 sticks of curry leaves. After adding the curry leaves, here you can then let this cook for 30 seconds. After 30 seconds, here you can then add the beef which you had kept aside. And then give this a good stir and let this cook for another 4 minutes. After 4 minutes, here you can then add the ground masala from earlier. After adding the ground spices, you can then mix this really well with the beef. After mixing it well, here you can then add half a cup of water. And along with the water, here you can add one teaspoon of chakari and the salt as per taste. Keeping in mind, you've already added salt earlier. Here you can then mix this really well and let this cook for another five to six minutes. After five minutes, here you can lastly garnish it with some coriander leaves. After that, your dish is now ready to be served. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to click on the like button and subscribe to this channel.